This video is going to look at how you download apps from other countries. This would be necessary if you were trying to watch TV from another country. So for example, I'm in Australia and I want to watch some TV in England, so I need the BBC iPlayer and the ITV player. If I want to watch TV from America, then there are a host of other apps like Netflix. And there's also an app called Zatu which you need to download from the Switzerland iTunes store. So in order to download apps from other countries, you have to have an account for each iTunes store that you're going to use. So for example, I need a UK iTunes account, a US iTunes account, and I'm about to open a Swiss iTunes account so I can get Zatu. Once you've got the apps, then you need some sort of service that will allow you to watch region block TV. At the moment, my service of choice is called Unotelly. The next video will be a review and a tutorial on how to use Unotelly. So briefly, again, if you want to change the country's iTunes account, you need to be in iTunes, and iTunes on a computer is a bit easier than trying to navigate this on a tablet. And make sure you've signed out of your iTunes account and you need a email address which is not associated with any existing iTunes accounts to open up a new iTunes account and you're also then going to download a free app from that country's store which lets you sign up with the none payment option. So I'm in iTunes, I've signed out of my iTunes account and then I scroll down to the bottom of the page and I want to change country. At the moment you can see I'm in the Australian iTunes store, the Australian flag there. So to change the country and I want to open up an account in the Swiss store, Switzerland. So I select that country and then I'm looking for an app. So I'm going to the app store and I want to download a free app. So just picking anything and now it'll ask me to create my Apple ID. We'll come back once I've created my iTunes Switzerland account. So I've created a Swiss iTunes account and I've signed into that account and we look down at the bottom of the iTunes app, you can see the, the country, Swiss flag, and I'm going to download an app from the App Store from the Swiss iTunes Store, which is called Zatu. I'm going to search for it and it's free. So the only way you can do this is with free apps. And that's downloading, and it's downloading to my iTunes um, account. So I'd find it in my apps here. If I look in apps, there it is there. And now what I want to do now is to put all these apps onto my iPad. Now the only app I can get from the Swiss iTunes store is Zato. The other ones I want, I need to get from the UK iTunes store and the US iTunes store. So what I have to do is sign out of the Swiss account and sign into the UK account. So up at the top here, you sign out. And then sign in because I have an existing account as a UK iTunes account. I sign into the UK account. And it's letting me know that it's going to be switching me to the UK store. And check at the bottom, there's the UK flag, so we're in the, the UK store. So if I now search for the BBC iPlayer, I'm getting the one that the um, people in Britain get. So it's free and I get the full range of programs. Now, you, if you put in a search for things like TV, in the app store you can get some of the or just about all of the, the possible apps that will let you watch free tv live tv and catch-up tv on demand tv in england and ireland and you, know, you download all of these apps now the, the service that i use is called unotelly and unotelly.com and this is the the list of channels premium and, ch and gold channels so you need a 
take out a subscription to you know telly but it's not that diff- that expensive but it has channels from australia from england and ireland from canada from america and you can watch them all without having to change the country you're in on your device you can also watch television from any of these countries on any device simply by changing a dns settings now that's not the object of this video that will be in the next video see the link on how to use it and a bit and a review of it but these are all the channels that they offer so what what i would do is look at each one and go to the app store for that channel and see if there's an app for it so for example the disney family is a an american one so i need to get signed into the us itunes store to download that one and remember that this process only works with free apps now i'll do the same thing for the us itunes store i'm going to sign out of the uk account sign into my us account so i've signed out of my uk itunes account and i'm about to sign into my us itunes accounts and again i'll just put tv in as a search term and these are all the different apps for the us tv channels and so some of these, in particular in the US now, a lot of the network sites are becoming subscription-based. In other words, you have to prove that you have some sort of cable account before you can watch any of their content. But as to which ones you download, again, I'm going by my Unotelly service because these are the ones that they can give me access to. All these channels are, on, are unlocked with my Unotelly subscription. So here's another one, vh1.com. If you go to these websites from a tablet or a phone, it will recognize that and offer you the mobile app. Now, it's already no, not acknowledging that I'm in Australia because I haven't got my Unotelly DNS switched on. So I've just got my Australian IP address here. So I already can see that uh, I'm, not in Ameri- I'm not in America and it's not going to offer me the MTV US site. The perils of geo restrictions. So let's have a look at, at how you might do this on a mobile device, in particular the iPad. How do you get the apps onto your iPad? Now, if I go into the App Store and into Purchased and then search for the app that I downloaded from the Swiss iTunes Store, Zato. It's not going to find it on this iPad or in my account. That's because I'm signed in with my Australian account. So on the iPad, go back in the App Store into the Featured and Sign Outs. And then sign in to my Swiss iTunes account. So once I put in my username and password, it's going to redirect me to the Swiss iTunes Store. So I can do OK. And I could have downloaded it straight onto the iPad, but it should be in my purchase. So there it is there, Zato. So I can download it, indicating the cloud, indicating it's in my iTunes account. So I can download that to this iPad. Now, the thing you have to remember when you download apps from different iTunes stores is that when you go to update them, you have to be logged in to that particular country's account. So if there was an update for Zato and I'm logged into my Australian account, I would have to do this process, log out of the Australian account, log into the Swiss account, update the app, and then log back out and back into my Australian account. It's not an onerous task because it doesn't happen that often. So if I go back out here, there's Zato. And uh, I have a Zato account. I already signed up for an account. But it's not going to work until I turn on my DNS with you know telly so i'll leave that for the next video so what i've what i've done is downloaded all the appropriate apps from the uk itunes store and the american itunes store put them into a folder so i've got american tv and then all the possible apps that i've found that work i put them into my ipad into a folder so i can see them and the uk one the british tv one there's only a few that i use in that one Briefly, that's how you use apps from other countries. 
the next video in my series will actually take a closer look at options for watching Region Block TV, in particular at Unotelly. So that's all for this video.